All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel, Any Boy Racing here, and today we have another very exciting, beautiful, and technical track for you located in Japan. That is the Suzuka International Racing Course with 18 turns, over three and a half miles of racing. You will be feeling topsy-turvy because nothing but long, winding turns, straightaways, and hairpins. So get ready for a spicy lap, a track guide, and then check under the hood to see what makes you the fastest. So, uh, let's go. Japan, the Suzuka International Racing Course is very tricky, very technical already. Coming into the very first turn to set yourself up, technically the last turn right here at the Pirelli signs. Drop it as fast as you can into second, maybe even first, and go through these nice little S's right here. Get the grip and traction as you slowly apply your foot on the pedal and start flying. You want to be in sixth or seventh gear by the time you're hitting the DRS timing line. So get ready to fly down this very first main straightaway here. And let me tell you, it is bumpy. I don't know where their taxes go or if they even care. There is no comfortable way down the straightaway, all right? But right here at the 50, maybe even a little bit past it, light tap on the brakes, drop it down into sixth gear, fly through this double apex at the Volcrum, drop it down into fourth, Come here, try to hug that candy cane line as best as possible as it flings you out almost past the track limits. Go down here, get it into six, and start making your way left. Quick break and tap into fifth, and then once again, quick break and tap into fourth through these S's. That's kind of the theme here at Suzuka International Racing Course. And as you make your way through here, these other sweeping turns, you got to question whether you want to go into fourth gear or keep it in fifth because either way I was comfortable with either one but I want to keep it in fourth as you go through this area because keeping it through fifth and even into sixth up onto this section will have you flying through the gravel so play with it but as you go through here and as you get to the top and if you didn't go into the gravel pit You'll be flying all the way into seventh gear and like the first turn right here at this little red sign, quick tap, drop it into fifth gear because you'll be in seventh, so six, five, quick two taps, take it to the track limits and dive 
dive into this little little apex corner here get it into second gear once again push the track limits find the traction grip and start flying get those rpms all the way and gears all the way to six hug this and get ready for this hairpin because it will sneak up on you so you'll be coming into this start downshifting slowly four three two i take it in first gear because to be honest it is a struggle get your tires lined up here towards the grandstand because that's where you'll be going find the momentum allow it to carry your weight through here and as you start popping into the the gears you will be finding this straight away very pleasant and uh just a great view but allow that weight downhill to then just carry on through here start hugging over to the right side now this is where you can push your braking points I go past, as you see to the right, past the light pole, and I drop it quickly into fifth gear with a light tap on the brake. Take this double apex, and once you're in the middle or the Volcrum again, I may be saying that wrong, drop it into fourth light tap because you will have a lot of weight. This track allows you, through these nice extended turns, to carry a lot of weight. To prepare you for these straightaways as we see right here which always tend to be bumpy so fly down the straightaway get comfortable and get ready for this little tricky once again red dot right there or as the checkered chicane candy cane chicane thing whatever sorry curb starts that's when you'll drop it into fifth take this out pop it into sixth gear and you will be flying I've seen people keep it in 7th all the way through, still learning, but here we are again setting it up for a perfect lap or the end. At the Pirelli signs, start dropping your way into 2nd gear through these S's going downhill. This is a complete track guide. Uh, uh, really the theme is light tap, quick downshifts, and allow the weight of the car to take you through these long winding turns because you lower gears you'll burn right through your gearbox higher gears you go too slow but let's check what's under the hood all right aerodynamics 27 29 almost glued to the track but you have enough downforce for good entering of turns and exiting great grip but not sacrificing straight line speed right here transmission 60 55 that will help with the gradual transition for traction through these topsy tier returns as you fly out onto a straightaway suspension geometry always the same suspension almost firm not too soft six seven four and five this track is all about finding the balance because this track will test the understeer and oversteer of your car so learn to handle the steering properly brakes always the same 151 tires for the time trial of course pump those bad boys up but for the actual race like i said i like to put them both of them in the middle 24 for the fronts 22 for the rear so that way your tires can heat up get good grip have great traction because they will be fighting a lot of twist and turns and then popping on the straightaways so for this track find the balancing act with quick snappy braking points good steering maneuverability and just really really finding your apexes so like subscribe come back for more i'm a high performance athlete athletes sweat sweat baby sweat sweat